Hello, everybody. This is Kate Sashney from Dedicated. I'm at Gartner's Data and Analytics Summit in Orlando, and I stopped by the IBM booth to talk to Heather. Heather, how's your Gartner experience going? Oh, it's been a great conference so far. It's so nice to run into you. I know, and I know we did this before, so I absolutely love talking to you. I'm excited for our follow-up conversation here a few months or I guess a year or so later. But, you know, you can't walk around the Gartner halls without hearing the words AI, agentic AI, agents. So I wanted to just get a conversation going with you because I saw a statistic that said 74% of organizations are still not seeing real value from AI. Mm -hmm. Why do you think that is? Yeah, so it's it's really been amazing to see the progress of the industry moving to embrace, embrace Gen AI and then Agentic AI becoming the next hottest thing as we moved into 2025. Um, when you go to a conference like this, you're reminded that there's still core foundation layers that are so essential to being successful with AI. So a lot of sessions here were focused on the data governance piece and confidence in data before you can begin to achieve confidence in model. And I really think that that, that focus, that combined focus is so essential to succeeding AI success, regardless of if it's predictive ML or generative AI or agents. Yes, I know, we can't really have AI without proper data governance, right? Exactly. I think there's there was always a risk of poor governance, poor data governance without AI. Now, with the, the addition of AI, do you think it's getting riskier? Or do you think AI is sort of helping companies uh, reduce some of that risk? Yeah, so I think companies need to have a strategy to manage that risk. And particularly with the maturity of their data governance processes, really be investing in there because AI takes a lot of data. Yeah. Um, and so in order to embrace AI at, at scale, you need solid data governance and AI governance processes that are consistently executed and that's where technology can help. Yeah, and speaking of technology, so you heard of a company called IBM, you know, they have Watson X, that governance. So let's talk about maybe a customer use case of how someone is using Watson X, that governance to make sure they're, they have proper governance in place. Yeah, it's been interesting because a lot of our clients are already starting to experiment with Agentic. Um, and one of the pilots that we're working on right now is the client has had some success with Agendic AI and backed up to say, wait, I need to get this into inventory. Um, and so that means attaching the agents to use cases, um, understanding the different models that are supporting the agents, and as an organization, having the advantage of understanding of the agents they have built, what are they good at supporting? Um, so that way you're not replicating the effort with a huge library of agents that are ungoverned. Um, so we're already seeing people starting to embrace this new path with Agentic AI and how a solid governance framework and automated technology can help them succeed. Yeah, you know, when you say that, I'm picturing so a company hiring a thousand people and failing to train them and then trying to train them after they've been there for a while. It's kind of easier and makes more sense to put that governance in place first before exactly. launching your 10 or 100 or 1,000 agents and unleashing them on your all your business processes. Yes. So thank you for sharing that. So for companies that are trying to get some quick wins, what advice would you have for them in as it relates to governance? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so for anyone looking to learn more about this area, our What's Next Governance landing page on IBM.com is a great source of information. So not only can you learn about the technology, we have thought leadership blogs that we post almost every week. Um, so you can see how to govern DeepSeek. You can see our governance strategy for Agentic AI. We're constantly adding um, to these best practices. Um, and then book a demo, sign up for a free trial account. Like there's just so many resources we're trying to make available. You know, you actually do provide a lot of really helpful resources. I use them myself to just learn about RAG and Agentic AI and sort of what's happening. So I really appreciate IBM, you know, helping out the data and AI community by sharing those freely available resources. And I highly encourage my audience to actually follow IBM on all social media platforms. Heather, I really appreciate chatting with you today. It's so good to see you. Thank you. Until the next conference. Exactly. Cheers. Cheers.